Okay, our community is divided when it comes to drug trafficking laws. That's there's no doubt about that. Of course, families of of users that uh, were injured or killed or, or lost their lives and and um, made life just a nightmare for for everybody because they got on these pain pills or died. Um, they're solid advocates for the toughening of drug laws and mandatory min minimum sentences and lock them up and throw away the key even if they possess uh, uh, you know a handful of pills and of course on, on the other end the special interest of the families of defendants that were convicted for drug trafficking and had the higher end of the mandatory minimum sentence and are spending decades in prison and so these families band together and there are there are groups pushing to do away with mandatory minimum sentences and the tough drug laws and the and the astronomical sentences that follow what seems to be a small amount of narcotics supreme court justice anthony kennedy said in too many cases mandatory minimum sentences are unwise and unjust. Well, there, there you have it. Somebody in the judiciary in a powerful and influential position, to say the least, taking what I would call a risk and making a statement like that. Well, you know what? It's not a risk. And that's because Mr. Kennedy is a Supreme Court justice and he doesn't have to worry about anybody running against him or what the public thinks. In fact, our system's designed to give these great and wise judges the incentive to speak out, to write opinions, even if it's not favored. But on the other side of the coin, when it comes to politics, when it comes to government, politicians are not going to push for lowering drug trafficking laws, lowering and making them less stringent. It's going to have to happen some other way. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon.